Right, hi folks, welcome to another Wednesday vlog and once again this uh, I'm quite excited about this vlog, you've probably just seen from the footage, this was one of those wild camps I don't think I'll ever forget, just caught it very sweetly, the weather was just perfect and we're going back to 2018 for this one. Now a lot of you might have already seen this because this is actually, this is a shortened version a director's cut <laughs> um, of two videos that I put out a few years ago. Uh, this is th this was shortened for a specific reason. So the Dundee Mountain Film Festival, one of the chaps that runs that had got in touch with me asking if I wanted to show any of my stuff, and I thought this one would be great for it. So I had to shorten it down. Only had ten or eleven minutes. So this is a condensed version which was shown at the film festival. So yeah, uh, I hope you like this edit of it. Stay safe out there, enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bucket lists. Mine seems to grow and grow, and the bucket seems to get heavier and heavier. But with the best summer weather Scotland had seen in years, I set off to take one more adventure off the list and try and make the bucket a little lighter. So it's 2.30 in the afternoon, it's 24 degrees and I've just arrived in the car park and today's um, wild camp is something that I've had on the bucket list for <laughs> a long time and the last time I was here it was the middle of the winter and I had one of the best days I think I've ever had in the hill but uh, today it's other way around, midsummer, blue skies, super hot and uh, there's a few challenges with this walk and there's a reason why I haven't got around to doing it but I'll, I'll get into that later on but anyway it's time to get the backpack ready, get the boots on and head up the hill. So off I went and it was glorious, however it was tough going. The first major challenge was just getting to the top of the mountain. What with all my camping gear, camera equipment, I also had three and a half litres of water to carry because all the streams were dry. This is the first summit here, it's not Carmore Gerard. That's Carmore Gerard there, but uh, so far, can't really find anywhere to pitch the tent yet. I'm going to try and get down here this Bilak. Bila. Excuse me, and just see if there's any bits of relatively flat ground there, but struggling so far. <laughs> but what a beautiful day. The views are uh, opening up down to the Memoirs now. Absolutely fabulous. So, yeah, time to get a pitch. So, to my relief, I eventually found a small and relatively flat spot and set about getting the tent up. The pitch was perfect, a view to the north face of the bend, and I spent the next few hours soaking in the views, taking photographs, and experiencing a sunset that would live long in the memory. What an amazing uh, sunset! Absolutely lovely. It uh, went down, I think it's going to quiche away over there. It looked like it was uh, that hill that went down behind. So, yeah, time to go to bed. I think I got some nice shots of the Ben and Carmore, Gerard. But yeah, time to go to bed and uh, set the alarm early. Sunrise once again is about 4 30, so I think I might get up about 3 30 and hopefully be on the arete for, uh, for when the sun comes up. Yeah, but uh, time for some sleep. Absolutely knackered. Let's go to bed. Night night. Hmm. 
Well, it's uh, 10 to 4 in the morning and there's not a drop of wind. No sound. It's lovely. So um, the plan is, the plan is some caffeine. <laughs> Gonna get some coffee and then uh, head up Carmore Gerarg and then along the, the Carmore Gerarg arete and hopefully get to the top of the top of the of, of the UK I suppose. It's a Ben Nevis is the highest mountain in Scotland in the UK, so um yeah I think I'll be on the hopefully to be on the ridge at some point when the the sun comes up, so but just perfect, absolutely perfect. So let's go and have some fun. <laughs> The sun's not up here yet, but if I spin round you can see the sun's up on Ben Nevis, which is about 200 metres higher. And uh, yeah, it's not quite reached me yet. <laughs> it will appear just over there shortly though, so let's even get to the top of here for uh, the sun coming up. <laughs> Fantastic. Here I am on the summit of Carnam Moor Gerarg. You see the wee cairn below me there, and the sun's just coming up. It's fantastic. It's just popping across Anak Moor over there, and uh, yeah, what a, what a place to be. Not a drop of wind, no midges. Yeah, it's just one of those days. I'm so glad I came up. But uh, anyway, you can see my objective for this morning down, winding its way around, is the Carnam Moor Gerarg And actually, the last time I was here, stood here was eight years ago, six years ago, can't remember, six or eight years ago during that winter, it was either 2010 or 2012 and the conditions were probably just as settled as they are now but in the middle of winter and I had a fantastic day, I was up super early and I didn't meet anybody until I was at the halfway lock and on the way back down, I had the whole place to myself, um, it looks like I'll have the right to myself but I know there's, there's some people camping on the summit so I'm looking forward to going up and saying hello to those guys, uh, what a place, absolutely Fantastic, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Birds, no fear. Those are buntings or what? You see them. Well, that's me at the uh, the cairn. It marks the end of the ret. It's behind me. Well, I've got to go all the way back along that in a minute, but uh, 
Oh, it's just absolutely glorious. <laughs> Not many times I'm going to say that. Look at this. Some moors away below me there. Um, you just see for miles. And yeah, this is the this is the last sting in the tail. Steep pull up to the top of the bend. So we drink here and then up I go. Six in the morning. I'm being quiet because there's a few wild campers. I think they're still sleeping. Uh, but I'm come over to the observatory just behind me there, and I've been over to the summit, and uh, it's just been absolutely fantastic. So uh, has it been worth it? Absolutely. I'm a bit knackered now though. <laughs> um, so heading back down the uh, the arete over to uh, Carmore Jerig, get the tent down, and head back off there.